what is going on everybody welcome back to another video if you watch my previous video you know that I destroyed my front bumper lip which is not a big deal but a few days later I pulled my car from the garage and I saw a big pile of grease on the floor uh, which means that I also destroyed my CV axle boot so I went ahead and bought a brand new genuine boot let me show you it's right over here uh, it comes with the grease clamps some clips which is a good thing but it costs 78 bucks which is uh, not cheap in my opinion uh, but today I saw something else I cracked my phone bumper which sucks big time right over here actually not my phone bumper but the paint uh, and this is not good because this front bumper is uh, kind of new anyway now over here is some kind of chipping on the paint but that's from me cutting uh, the front bumper for the front mount intercooler and there's some uh, cracks over here but I don't remember if they are old or new anyway let me show you the damage right over here uh, you can see nothing uh, let me show you there is a lot of grease and now I have to clean it which sucks anyway uh, now I just have to remove uh, the front axle and uh, but let me switch to my GoPro and we'll continue from there now we just have to remove the pin and the CV axle nut and now we just have to remove the lower control arm Next we need a pray bar to pop out the axle but before that uh, don't forget to drain the transmission oil There we go completely destroyed and the grease is like milk which is not good anyway now we just have to remove the clamps Uh, before we separate uh, the axle cup uh, from the tripod bearing uh, it's a good idea to make a mark here and here and later on we will make one uh, mark right here on the roller because uh, we want uh, the tripod bearing to go in the exact same place as this now Now we have to remove this clip
And before we remove uh, the tripod, uh, we're going to make a mark. As I said, uh, this is the mark right here, and I gotta make a mark on this roller right here. There we go. Before we put the boot, don't forget the clamp. We have a new clip which came with the kit. Pack the cup with the grease. I hate these clamps, one of them already broke, but This too is a junk. That's it. Now I just have to put everything back together.
I keep getting the question uh, what kind of exhaust system I have. It's a 3 inch out the way. On the front I have a Mega Racing downpipe. And it's a true 3 inch. Uh, because some of the downpipes are starting as a 275 up here on the top. And then they go up to 3 inch. But this one it's a 3 inch from the top. And uh, this downpipe have seen better days as you guys can see. I'll buy a new one someday. On the back, uh, I'm running uh, Mega Racing cutback, but only the piping up to right here. From here on, it's uh, Epic CN1. Uh, it's like that because uh, this car was front wheel drive, and I did the all wheel drive conversion, and my donor car came with the Mega Racing cutback. Uh, and on the on uh, this portion right here was a Magnaflow muffler. So my car was with a Epic CN1 cut back. So I cut off this section and uh, just welded it to the Mega Racing cut back. This muffler has been repaired once uh, right here on the back, as you guys can see. So some of the guts inside are removed and uh, it will sound a little bit different than uh, the rest of the Epic CN1 uh, muffers. It sounds more like a straight pipe. And uh, don't pay attention to my welds. Uh, that was uh, 8 years ago and my uh, welder actually was cutting off all the time. Not that I'm good at welding but uh, this is pretty horrible. But it uh, holds up. So, uh, I have one more thing to show you, my new rear toe arms, they make a really loud uh, clunking noise, as you can hear, and uh, from the inside of the car it sounds uh, really scary. The first time uh, I heard that I said, damn, not again, something broke, but uh, then I did a further investigation and I found out the noise was coming from here. So if any one of you guys have the same toe arms, let me know if you have the same problem. So that's it pretty much. Uh, thank you for watching and if you like and subscribe, I will appreciate it.